Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly love reading. What's going on, you guys? Hope you are doing well. So if you are a sun, moon, rising, Venus, Cancerian, this is your week ahead for love. I'm going to take a look at September 12th through September 18th, good old 2019. Do mom a favor and hit the like button, please, if this one resonates. If not, take a look at your rising or your moon sign. If you need a private reading, all the info is below right there. You can go right to my website and book your reading. I'm also on Instagram, which I've included below. Sometimes I say bad words. I don't really even apologize for it anymore. If that's not your cup of tea, hard left. A lot of good readers here on YouTube, but I hope you don't leave. I hope you stay. Ooh, what the hell is that? All right, little bug. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's coming in for love. So I did pre-shuffle, so I think we are set to go. What's up, Cancer? In love. Here we go. Let's check it out, the 12th through the 18th. All right, coming into the current moment, what do we have? Cha-ching, we have the big fat 10 of Pentacles. We do. What's the challenge, though? Is the Emperor? Your challenge could be an Aries it just might. What's on your mind is the Knight of Cups in reverse. Pisces energy for me could be you or another water sign. What's in the recent past? The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Situation, why is all this happening? Because of justice. Major for Libra. What's coming into the current moment or into the near future is the moon. Hmm, could be you. I always feel like, I mean, this is usually Pisces energy, but with the crab, I think of Cancer as well. All right, how do you see yourself right now? The tower in reverse, scorpionic energy. What do they bring in? Ooh, cancer. What the hell? What the F is that? The three of swords. All right, more Libra and energy. What's going on in your emotions? The ace of wands, cancer. And what's the outcome? Queen of wands in reverse. All right. Leo, Sag, Aries for me. It's typically an Aries. Somebody's pissed. All right, let's move this down. Cancer, what the hell is going on with you guys? All right, what's your overall energy? Let's take a look at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands. Obviously, a very burdensome situation. It could be with a Scorpio. There's the death card. All right, let's see what's up. Or you guys are just thinking about ending something because there's just too many burdens. That Ten of Wands is closing out a cycle, though. Probably a pretty long cycle. Death, transformation, right? Rebirth that kind of shit. All right, a lot of you are married to this person. We have Justice in the Foundation. We have the Emperor. We have the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so let's start clarifying and see what the hell is going on, Cancer. I see you guys are avoiding something. You might be avoiding a Scorpio. I got a couple Scorpion energy here, a uh, little bit of Scorpio energy here, but also you see yourself right now as the Tower in Reverse. You're either avoiding a breakup, an ending, like you're not letting that tower come down. Something that's built on, well, shit, and it needs to come down. Or you're avoiding a person. All right. On your mind is the Knight of Cups in reverse. Could be another water sign, but also just somebody's not offering the emotion. There's that damn bug again. Get the hell out of here. All right. Knight of Cups in reverse, yeah, on your mind, you're just closing off your emotions. I think you're avoiding something, and I think the Queen of Wands and the outcome, we're going to see who this bad bitch is, but sometimes for me, that is another energy, or it could just be you or the person you're dealing with, right, really pissed off. Queen of Wands in reverse, she'll throw a plate at your head. We have a couple of Aries uh, cards here, energies, all right. But also, in your environment, this person you're dealing with is bringing the Three of Swords, right? So some sort of disappointment or sadness. Could be a breakup or could be a big fat cheater. Sorry, Crosswatchers. You can thumbs down all you want. This is Cancer's reading, and I'm just calling it like I see it. All right. All right. Let's see what's up for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the 12th through the 18th, 2019. Let's get to it and clarify this bad bitch of a reading. All right, let's check it out. Why is that Ten of Wands and the Death card, the overall energy? A lot of burdens. We're putting an end to it. Could be a Scorpio. What the hell? Justice. Again, for some of you guys, this is a marriage. 
all right? That's been a very long cycle, a lot of worry. Somebody may be feeling guilty as well. More Libra in energy. What's the justice card? You're just trying to find balance right now. The moon, some secrets. Again, Pisces energy. I think you're really using your intuition, Cancer, but I also feel like there's some shit going on behind the scenes, some fear or some deception. Now, coming in right now, we have the Ten of Pentacles. What's this about for Cancer? See the Five of Cups, Scorpionic energy again. Some regret, right? You guys coming in right now, this is a marriage, a commitment, or this is just the energy of you wanting that stable, long-term, let's build a legacy type shit, right? But with the Five of Cups, there's some challenges, right? Some disappointment here, some loss, now, what's challenging all of this is the emperor, son of Aries, but it could be a husband, right? Somebody's like setting boundaries as well. Very stern, my way or the highway. And then we have the empress. See, we have the emperor and the empress. This is mom and dad, guys. It is. It's the energy of that. So some of you, again, it's a marriage or a long-term commitment. Probably somebody you've been with for a while. Those of you that that's not resonating, this is your challenge, is to get that empress and emperor energy from this person. Coming in right now, somebody's mourning a loss or somebody is having regret with this. All right. Libran, Taurus energy with that empress, but expansion, nurturing, growth, moving forward, bringing fertility and a lot of beauty and nurturing and it's nice energy to the relationship. But that's the challenge or what's influencing this. All right. Somebody may not be nurturing this connection the way they should. On your mind, Cancer, is the Knight of Cups in reverse. Why? Judgment, again, card of marriage. Jealousy with the Knight of Cups in reverse could be, right? With the Knight of Cups in reverse, again, closing off the emotions. It's kind of that in and out energy. I love you. I don't love you. Here's my cup. I'm taking my cup back, right? It's kind of that shit. And it's a night, and we know the nights tend to come and go. They don't, they're not really bringing long-term stability. And judgment, you know, making a very, very important decision. Why is judgment here? What is it? See, we've got the Queen of Wands again in reverse. Leo, Sag, Aries, energy. I get the sense that Cancer's pissed. Let's see why. Why is this queen? The queen of wands in reverse is not feeling confident at all. Not taking action. She can be quite angry. It's like a mad ass bitch. Why is the queen of wands in reverse? The mean girl. The nine of wands. Because somebody's tired. Very exhausted. For me, the nine of wands has been there, done that. I'm tired of dealing with this shit. Right? I'm going to keep moving. I'm moving. I'll call you an, an Uber. I will get my rest. Like, I'll do it. But I'm having some fear is the nine of wands and I'm very, very tired, all right, of this shit, basically. Now the past, the recent past, we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody was stuck to somebody like white to rice. This is, I don't wanna be without you. I'm ready to be with you. I need to be with you, that shit. The nine of swords, so see two nines, which is getting closure, it's getting close to completion. That's why coming in, we have some sort of completion, but there's some regret with this. So the Nine of Swords, somebody was all in their head, batshit crazy, because they just felt like they could not be without somebody here. The situation is justice, sign of Libra. What's justice about? I'm trying to get balance back. The Hermit, sign of Virgo. For a very small percentage of you, the situation has to do with your marriage, legalities, contracts, the judicial system, court hearings, that kind of shit. And with the hermit, the hermit can be a lawyer, a counselor, an advisor, something like that. But for others of you, this is all about just getting balance back into your life and kind of pulling away, figuring out what you want moving forward with the hermit card. You might just be withdrawing. Why is this hermit here, please? In order to do the right thing. The Three of Pentacles. So, see, the Three of Pentacles is also another kind of court card for me, right? Meeting a group of people, a team of people, trying to collaborate and, and come up with some sort of an agreement. It could involve a lump sum of money. This is just a side story. If it's not yours, it's not yours, right? It always cracks me up when people are like, oh, no, that's reversed. Or, oh, no, this is my, you know, blah, blah, blah. Great. I love comments. I want to hear about it. But you have to remember, we're reading for like thousands of people. It's not everybody's story, 
Okay, you need a private reading for that. I digress, but I'm just saying for some of you, this does involve like money, a payout, a divorce, like something like that, okay? For others of you with the Three of Pentacles here, you guys are just, you know, you're trying to collaborate. You're trying to be on the same team here and just get your balance back. Coming into the near future, Cancer, you got the moon, Pisces, but I also feel like that's you too. The high priestess in reverse, a lot of Pisces energy. Wow, what... What a contradiction. And you know, it's interesting. We have the full moon in Pisces coming up here in the next couple days. Um, so with the high priestess in reverse, something's going to be revealed, right? Using your intuition here because something's coming out. I feel like this is more you being intuitive. Also, too, though, you know, some deception, some secrets. They're going to come to light, though. What's this high priestess in reverse? Seven of Wands, which is going to have somebody very guarded. Very, very guarded. Somebody was dipping their hand into another cookie jar, too. Somebody was married. Some shit like that. If that's the case, it's coming out. All right. And it's going to have somebody super defensive. How do you see yourself right now, Cancer? As mom here drops every single card in the deck. What's going on? You're the uh, tower right now. Why is Cancer the tower in reverse? Scorpionic energy. What's this about? The Four of Cups. Let's clarify that one more time. Why the Four of Cups? Cancer, please tell me you're not letting this come down. What's the Four of Cups? The Two of Wands. You're indecisive. Trying to make plans for your future here. You're not sure what to do, but you're avoiding a catastrophe. You're avoiding someone or something. And it's because of the Four of Cups. It's a rejection, right? Or it's kind of like, eh, I'm not so sure I want that offer. The Two of Wands is setting out on a new path, but it's being indecisive. See the Death card. I just get the sense that you guys don't quite want something to come down yet. It's just what I'm feeling. And it may be because of money loss or something like that. But you guys are kind of not letting this tower come down. And it needs to with death, right? What do they bring in? They're bringing the Three of Swords, Libra and Energy. Why is this coming in for Cancer? What is it? The Knight of Cups. What the hell kind of shit is that? More Pisces. A lot of Pisces energy cancer in this. Why the uh, Knight of Cups? Is this person offering this cup to somebody else? That's kind of what I'm feeling. Yeah. See the Eight of Wands in reverse. They've been dipping their hand in a different cookie jar. And it's obviously going to bring you some sadness and disappointment, right? You guys already know that. But for some reason, some of you are still holding on to this. You're trying to get balance reconciliation or something going on here trying to still build with this person but I'm telling you and then with the eight of wands in reverse they're just not moving forward right they got that cup headed in another direction unfortunately y'all can be pissed at me all you want but that's what I'm seeing hopefully it's not your story but for those that are wondering is my intuition correct it is what's this eight of wands in reverse what is this about? See the two of swords blocking out, ignoring. There's a lot of blockages here and ignoring each other because they're taking this cup somewhere else. But it's going to come out. They can try to take the cup wherever they want, but the cup's about to spill. In your emotions, you want a new beginning, I think, with this person. Why is this ace of wands here for cancer and their emotions? What is it? There you are. The chariot in reverse, major for cancer. You feel stuck, Cancer. You want this new beginning, but you feel stuck. That's why some of you guys see yourself as trying to, you know, keep this tower moment from coming down. But, you know, it's major arcana. It's the universe. They're going to do what they want to do. Now, the outcome has this queen of wands in reverse. Who's this bad bitch of a queen? Who's this queen of wands in reverse? Aries energy. We have the page of pentacles. A lot of you guys, this is this other person, this other energy that, that your person was dipping into. What's this night of, um, sorry, the Page of Pentacles? Earth energy. This is like communication. It's also a, it's also a payout or some sort of, you know, handing your, your hand out here for a payout. What's this uh, Page of Pentacles going to be about? The star in reverse. Aquarian energy. 
wishes and dreams just not manifesting, not coming in. I feel like there's an investment here with this Queen of Wands in reverse, and you guys are just not happy, obviously. Why is the star in reverse? What is this? See, the Queen of Swords. You're going to cut it out, though. You're going to get your wits about you, Cancer, and you're just going to cut it out. Sometimes that Queen of Swords is an attorney as well. What's this Queen of Swords about? We have the Page of Cups. Going after your dream. A lot of you have kids with this person too. We have a couple pages. Typically the Page of Pentacles is a, is a child for me. What is this Page of Cups bringing though? Something in that cup. Ooh, it's bringing the King of Pentacles. Hi, Dad. A lot of you guys have new love coming in. You don't even know it because you're still trying to keep this from ripping down. King of Pentacles. Also too, you guys, if this is like a court situation or custody or some shit like that, you guys have a nice payout coming out. But this is going to be after you realize there's no saving this. you got to let that tower come down, right? Whatever you're trying to manifest. But a lot of you have a uh, Virgo Capricorn Taurus coming in, and he's in the upright. And he's got a big, fat pentacle. He does, and I'm liking it. I just want to see if there's anything else here I want to clarify. What's this King of Pentacles? So if you guys are worried about money, don't. But also, I feel like this is a new relationship. What's this King of Pentacles about? What's he bringing? Hanged man. Clarity. There's going to be a pause. A little bit of a wait here. More Pisces energy. A lot of Pisces. If this is money regarding this, a little bit of a pause. we got to figure some shit out first. But it's coming. What's this hangman about? The fool. See your new beginning. Aries energy. A lot of you guys, this does involve children. All right. And some facet. It turns out, now I clarified a lot, so this is going to obviously be down the road a little bit. My main message here, though, Cancer, is whatever your intuition is telling you, it's going to be revealed. It, it is, right? And right now, you just see yourself as avoiding this right now. It's kind of like, let me just go into my Cancer mode, my Shell mode, and not let this come ripping down because I'm on a crossroads. I don't know what to do about ending this, but you need to end it. You do. And you're going to get rewarded here. There's going to be a little bit of a pause, but then the energy shifts. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Cancer. I'm loving you hard. Love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.